Well, what do I do with this? Well, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna develop it in some ECN2. ECN2 is the preferred and best method for developing all your cinema film needs. The signature trademark of cinema film is the little black backing on the film known as Remjet. Remjet is exclusive to cinema films, as other films do not have this black backing on it. The purpose of this backing is to provide protection from the film from scratches and static, and as well as serve as an extremely effective anti-halation layer. It goes without saying that Remjet is pretty damn good for your film. Now there's lots of talk about developing cinema film in C41, and why technically you can, that doesn't mean you should, and would be considered cross-processing. The correct way of developing cinema film is with ECN2, according to Kodak, the film gods themselves. Let's dissect this ECN2 kit, made by Flickfilm. In this ECN2 kit, you'll see some familiar faces if you've developed C41, but let's focus on the new faces, the pre-bath and the color developer. The ECN2 developer only comes in one packet and is more similar to slide film developer rather than C41 developer. Next up is the pre-bath. The pre-bath is the most important step in this kit as it removes the remjet from the film. Remjet is great for when you're shooting, but in development, some people say it's a nuisance. But this pre-bath right here makes easy work of it. Simply add the pre-bath prior to the developer, tap the sides to release any bubbles, and let it sit for 10 seconds. After that, return the pre-bath to its container and rinse three times, shaking very vigorously with each rinse and watch as that remjet is removed. Now, it's back to normal development as if it's C41, up until the stabilizer step. So, before you add the stabilizer, hang the film up and give it a wipe with a wet cloth to remove any surviving remjet. For the full directions, just look at the pamphlet included in the kit. But for now, let's reap the rewards of one's work. Just like that, you're able to fully enjoy the benefits of Remjet without any of the mess of it on your negative, and it only costs you an extra minute or two of developing at most. Now, what I want you to remember that when developing any motion picture or cinema film, you're developing it the right way. You're developing it the ECN2 way.